In 2003, a band was formed in the halls of Chardon High School. Today, that group has evolved into a polka force to be reckoned with. Jake Cowie is the group's dynamic frontman, playing the accordion like a maniac. Emily Cowie, his wife, plays the sax. She's bubbly and boisterous. Mike Franklin plays the banjo, the guitar, and he is a master yodeler. Joey Dahlhausen beats the drums into submission with unparalleled energy. And Mitch Lawrence is the new guy on sax. Together, this group of oddballs form an unstoppable polka band. They're not your typical players, they're the other guys. Their creative blend of attitude and charisma makes them a group like nothing you've ever seen before. If you have need for polka, if nobody else can help, and if you can track them down, maybe you can hire the Chardon Polka Band. Hi, Jake Cowie here from the Chardon Polka Band, and we're glad you're watching our show. We're very excited about today's program. We're going to hear some of our very favorite polka tunes, eat some polka food with Emily, learn a little bit more about the song In Heaven There Is No Beer, and meet an exciting all-girl group from Slovenia. So we're kicking things off today with the July to Polka. <laughs> Ah yes, exploring themes of both money problems and relationship problems alike, the July to Polka tells the story of one unlucky fellow's attempts to hold on to his one true love. A love that would sometimes prove unattainable. In this case, because of financial problems. If you're a polka fan, then you're going to know this next tune, In Heaven There Is No Beer. Before we hear it though, let's have Mike, I mean, Professor Polka, 
tell us a little bit more about the song and where it comes from. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Polka. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm Professor Polka, you know. There are few songs as recognizable as In Heaven There Is No Beer. The song was originally written as a movie score for the 1956 German film Die Fischerin vom Bodensee. The English lyrics characterize a certain happy-go-lucky nature that is very common in United States polka music. The lyrics telling listeners to enjoy the merriment of drinking one's ale while they're still on this side of the ground. And when you're gone, your friends will be drinking your leftover beer in your absence. It's one of the band's favorite songs. Every time it gets everybody, they're getting up, they're clapping, they're singing a lot, in heaven there is no, it's amazing. They get up, they get on the chairs, they get on the tables. It's, it's, it's old folks and the band tells them, hey, you know, you get off the table, you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt you, you're gonna break a hip or something. They don't care, they don't listen. They're drinking the beer, they're having fun. You so, so watch it, you're gonna love it. You're gonna show it to your kids, your kids are gonna love it. They're gonna show it to their friends, maybe, I don't know, but they're gonna love it too. It's gonna be amazing, watch it. Why we drink it here? Drink it and when we're gone from here, Where we go? our friends will be drinking on our beer. La 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 Heaven, there is no wine. No wine? What? Well, that's why we drink moonshine. And when okay. we drink moonshine, oh, it's my our kielbasa oh, tastes mighty fine. I see. La 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 You know, my grandfather was a Baptist minister, and he never really approved of the theological message of the song, In Heaven There Is No Beer. He did agree that in heaven there is no beer, but he thought, as a result of this fact, one should absolutely refrain from drinking it here. I've always found it somewhat ironic that while both my grandfather and my great-grandfather were Baptist ministers, I have spent the better part of my adult life driving around the country singing songs to people about beer. Well, such is the polka lifestyle. 
Speaking of driving around singing songs about beer. Here's a clip from our pal Brian from Nebraska's own Bulls and Beer Band. Playing the beer barrel polka on an instrument he calls the tube accordion. <laughs> Stick around, more great polkas are on the way. The tuba is the lowest pitched and largest in the brass family of musical instruments. A person who plays the tuba is known as a tubaist or tubist. And now it's time for the Sean Polka Band Mailbag, the part of the program where we open a letter from one of you fans. Now today's question comes from Stan and Dee in New York, and they've written, Dear CPB, where would you most like to play? That's easy. The Chardon Polka Band assumes that by 2020, the red planet Mars will be inhabited by an android robot race called Marsians. These Marsians are going to need some entertainment, so if we invest um, wisely in solar nuclear I think, travel, I think they then get we can the eventually... Idea. Mars. Mars. <laughs> 